Okay, so you've seen in the uh, other video what the uh, the Kramer looks like upgraded. I'd like to go over some of those upgrades with you and uh, let you know what parts were used and so forth. You may decide you want to uh, go ahead and do the same thing. Let's start right up here at the tuners. Okay, I replaced the tuners so you can see. Uh, what this came with was all black uh, All parts actually sells tuners uh, Which they have a website it's allparts.com uh, But these are tuners they're fairly inexpensive, but they're chrome What I did is I mixed and matched I took part of the black that was on it and then mixed it with the chrome So I get this nice look here where the strings tie on. Uh, then the next major thing was the Floyd Rose Tremolo. What was on here was a cast uh, tremolo system and it was horrible. Very poorly made. It said Kramer on it. Uh, I decided to go with an original Floyd Rose Tremolo, which I got from uh, Warmoth.com, uh, about the only place in town that had one, or online, that I could find. So I went ahead and ordered that, got that in, that came with the uh, Tremolo unit, the uh, bar assembly, and the nut assembly up here. So it came with all that. And then the uh, next thing was the knobs. I went ahead and went with uh, Fender, of all things, amp knobs, uh, which are kind of nice because with the, the coil tap feature on this guitar, I was able to crank these down. There's a little tiny screw right in there. I don't know if you can see it put more tension on the attachment so that way I don't have to worry so much about popping the knobs off when I uh, do the coil taps. Uh, those are also uh, all parts and again they've got a website with a bunch of parts on it um, so yeah you can get those if you want through all parts or musicians friend uh, a lot of places actually have them. Uh, you might just get on the phone and start calling around. See who's got them, who doesn't. Okay, uh, next thing was the switch assembly. What was here was a black uh, mini switch. I've had problems in the past with mini switches. Uh, you know, I'm kind of a klutz and be walking around carrying the guitar, bang into the wall, next thing I know... Uh, the tip of the mini switch breaks off and then I end up having to replace the damn thing anyway so I just did myself a favor uh, through musiciansfriend.com I went ahead and uh, picked up this heavy duty DiMarzio switch and note here that uh, something a lot of people don't realize uh, the pathways in the switches the mini switches, it's a smaller unit, has smaller pathways. The smaller the pathway, the more resistance there is for the uh, current to flow. That means from where you plug your guitar in, through the pods, through the switch, to the coils of the pickups, and then back going out to your amp, this switch makes the biggest difference. Uh, I played the guitar before and after uh, with the larger switch with the larger pathways for current to flow these pickups are a lot hotter I get a lot more out of them and a lot of people would say well that don't make that big of a difference well it does it makes a huge difference so that may be something you want to consider to really uh, wake up your guitar so uh, replace that switch now the switch itself, like I said, this is a heavy-duty DiMarzio switch. 
a uh, musician's friend I think it was about 25 bucks well worth it though heavy duty will last forever Okay, let me uh, get the back side of this flipped around and uh, be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. I've got the uh, back plate off here covering the spring assembly for the Floyd Rose. As you can see, I went ahead and installed the trim no trim unit. I wanted to go ahead and do that since I was going through and upgrading anyway. Um, and again, I got that uh, trim, no trim unit from uh, Musician's Friend. It's about 50 bucks. Uh, saves a lot of time for tuning and uh, adjusting the intonation. So that may be something else you want to consider for your upgrade. This plate, um, literally, when I got this guitar, um, right from the factory, this plate was cut so poorly that somebody actually had to jam it in and force it I had to use a screwdriver to get it off um, and then subsequently once I realized where it was hitting I had to use a file file down the edges a little bit to get it to where it fits snug but it's not so tight you gotta wedge it in um, you can get a file anywhere that's easy Okay, on the uh, back side up here, you can see um, as far as the screws, I went ahead and used the screws from the black tuners just to kind of mix it up. These chrome tuners actually came with chrome screws, but I wanted to do something a little different. Uh, the Allen keys here, um, they're chrome. And actually, the ones that the guitar came with were black. I've got these off of another guitar that uh, I didn't think needed them. Uh, this piece here actually came off a of Kramer Knight V. I put that on. It's a uh, black chrome finish with the uh, black locking nuts. Also, another thing I did was invested in a uh, quick release strap unit for my uh, guitar strap. It's got, uh, comes with the hardware here, the screws, and obviously the quick release locks, which is pretty nice. It holds up really well, uh, but that's a uh, made by DiMarzio. And you can pick those up for about 80 bucks from a uh, musician's friend. Uh, they work out pretty good. Okay, one thing to note on this trim, no trim unit. Uh, after I got the upgrades done, I was playing around with the guitar and kind of getting into it a bit. Uh, these little screws right here, these locking screws. Well, to get the Floyd Rose to work correctly, obviously these need to be a little bit loose. Uh, if you loosen them too much and you don't have this cover plate on, these can fall out, hit the floor, and you'll never find them. Um, I'm going to obviously put the plate back on. But uh, what I would recommend, um, just save yourself a little bit of time. Go get some of the painter's blue tape and put over these just kind of wrap it around so that way if they do fall out they're not going anywhere um, but again you really don't want to have them too tight but you don't want to have them too loose to where they fall out so you just kind of snug them in a little bit and then you're good to go all right so I'll get this put back together and then we'll do a sound check and uh, see what the upgrades make this guitar sound like. All right, be back in a few. Okay, back again. I knew I forgot something. Uh, one of the upgrades I did is I replaced these bezels. If you notice on your guitars, uh, if you have the same model 
the bezels themselves are really flat but if you notice the angle of the strings and the uh, Floyd Rose trim it actually raises up at an angle so I replaced the bezels with uh, angled type bezels skinny in the front fatter in the rear and what that did is it actually leveled out the uh, pickups and made them even with the strings on both the front and rear coil did the same on the rear see it's narrow in the front fatter in the rear and that evens it out front coil to string rear coil to string uh, one more thing I did was when I had all this apart I went ahead and wrapped the uh, pickups with uh, yellow electrical tape and I know it sounds kind of goofy but it kind of gives the guitar a really nice look uh, the yellow actually comes real close to matching the uh, yellowish orange on the guitar and uh, that uh, electrical tape I'm referring to let me go grab it real quick as soon as I figure out what I did with it oh here it is okay so this is uh, branded as uh, GB Gardner Bender it's a PVC electrical tape comes in this little kit you get yellow green blue red and white and the width of the tape is perfect for wrapping these pickups it's just the right width gives it a nice look you can obviously pick any one of those colors uh, you can get this at Home Depot Lowe's uh, electrical parts uh, outlets uh, it runs about I think about four dollars and fifty cents but uh, tape lasts quite a while so that's something else to consider uh, if you decide to do some upgrades okay now <laughs> we'll take a break I'll get the guitar put back together and we'll do a sound check see you in a bit <laughs> 